Yeah, you know, when it comes to menopause, doctors say many women are concerned about side effects like hot flashes and weight gain. But many women don't realize that menopause can also have a major impact on your heart. Kimberly Gill has been working to get more people talking about menopause, and this is a very important part of that conversation, Kim. Yeah, this is a perfect example of why we need to be having these conversations with each other and with our doctors. A local cardiologist we were working with on a different story said she wished more women knew this information, so we said, let us help you get the word out. We all think of breast cancer as being the number one killer of women, and it's not. It's actually heart disease. Before menopause, estrogen and other hormones help protect the heart. But the risk of heart disease rises after menopause, says Dr. Brittany Fuller, a Henry Ford Health cardiologist. As you go through menopause, there's a lot of changes that happen, a lot of in inflammation that occurs, that your cholesterol starts to spike, your blood pressure starts to spike, and so your risk of heart disease and heart attacks actually start to it starts to level out with men at that point making matters worse women having heart trouble often experience different or less severe symptoms than men symptoms they're more likely to ignore or brush off so you're having all of these other other symptoms that are happening so a lot of times they just push that aside and say oh i'm short of breath i'm just going through the change or i'm i'm having i'm, I'm having these changes it's all they brush it under the rug as as all menopause when really it could be something else going on. When it comes to preventing heart disease, Fuller says women are often treated less aggressively than men. A lot of times women are told if their blood pressure is high, go home, lose weight, come back and see me in six months, and then they never come back. Um, so they're never put on medical therapy like uh, compared to male counterparts. Fuller says it's important for women entering menopause to see their doctor, to get a checkup, discuss their heart risks, and make a plan to treat any existing health problems. Be very proactive. No one's going to be your own cheerleader better than yourself. Um, so be your own advocate. Get your blood work. She also recommends regular exercise and eating a healthy diet of more fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins and less processed foods. You cannot run your genes, and I always tell patients that. So if your genes are, are not on your side, you can't change that, but there are things you can change. Your diet, exercise, and making sure that if you have those risk factors, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, getting those under good control will hopefully prevent you from having an event. Now, we asked Dr. Fuller how often she sees women who have suffered a heart problem who were previously healthy before menopause, and she said every day, every day. So this increased risk after menopause is something many women don't know about, but they absolutely need to know about it, and we need to be talking about it. Well, I love that we're having these conversations for you from yeah. the reporter side. Was there a moment that you're like, oh, I didn't know that, or, you know, what really captured your attention? I mean, there's, there's, we'd have to talk for like an hour <laughs> to tell you all the things that I learned after doing stories about menopause, but I will say this. When doctors go through medical school, there's not a menopause specialty, per se, where they get extensive training in this field, but there is an organization that has set some standards in terms of assuring a higher, more consistent quality of care for women at this and beyond this stage of life. That organization is called the North American Menopause Society. So physicians have to pass a test that demonstrates their expert expertise in this field. And you can find a doctor who has that credential by going to their website, the North American Menopause Society website. Um, and it's just what Dr. Fuller said as well, being an advocate for yourself. Because right. if you're not getting the answers from your regular gynecologist, like maybe they just, there, there's somebody out there that maybe does have uh, some better ideas, some better therapies that, uh, that might help you. And there's a lot out there. Yeah. There's a lot of confusion. You and I have all, always talked about all, all also talked about uh, things on the internet right that are it's not confusing because <laughs> you think you're in a reliable place and then perhaps you're not that's so. right there's a lot of hokey pokey stuff out there, there that is. you don't want to get into no. so uh yeah but thank right. you thank you and by the way kim's done so many reports on this so if you want to check them out from the previous ones so go to click on detroit.com just to uh put menopause into that search bar and you'll find them thanks kim sure thing all right thanks